Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today is part six of nine of kitting down the Art Dot Square drills that I purchased. So let's just get into it. Ooh. This is a continuation, at least on my part, since I just did part five. Let's see. These, oh look, right off the bat, I have ones that don't match. Fantastic, fantastic guys. Uh, if you're new here and you have no idea what I'm doing, uh, I purchased some Art Dot Square Diamonds for a project and I thought they looked pretty good. So I put more of them in my Amazon cart as one does because Amazon deal days was coming up and I thought, well, maybe they'll go on sale. But apparently I or I accidentally or I didn't order. I added it to my cart twice. <laughs> well, my husband decided to order the things in the cart to be helpful, uh, but I didn't actually need to order the, the diamonds, uh, but he ordered and I got two more sets. So now I have three sets of Art Dot diamonds that are approximately a thousand diamonds each. I think some of them are definitely not a thousand. Um, yeah, and so they ain't gonna put themselves away. So I figured I'll bring you guys along for the journey. I will have things listed in the description box below of what kind of storage boxy things, what size cardstock, whoa, okay, almost did it again. So those do not match. Uh, um, all the stuff. I have my little trashy cat that I put my trash in. This is Munchy Puddin Trashy Caddy. He was named by some very awesome subscribers. I did order him a cute little sombrero hat costume set, and I tried putting it on him just now, uh, but it does not fit on his head because he's very um, tube-like. <laughs> so I may have to make a few modifications or something because he needs a little, a little zhuzh. He needs a little glam or a little style. Not that you're not perfect the way you are, friend but you could look better. Okay, there are only two of these. All right. And if you are new, welcome. If you are not new, uh, thanks for coming back to hang out with the Hot Mess Express that is myself. Please like the video, it is free. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you have not already subscribed. And I will also have a link below to my Facebook group that I have created. Um, those all match, that's good. Where you can post pictures of, you know, your animals, your works in progress, ask other people questions, funny memes, you know, normal, normal everyday stuff on Facebook, right? There is, there are no questions to um, get into the group. It just asks for approval just so I can make sure that you're not, you know, a robot and trying to steal everybody's information. Um, and I don't have to approve posts. All I ask is that you're kind to others, which I know everybody will be. So I'm not really worried about that. There's that. 931. For each video of nine, nine videos that I'm going to be doing, kitting these down, uh, each set of diamonds, there will be approximately 150 bags of 50 different colors, you know, plus or minus, well, not really plus any, because more like minus, because, you know, I had to take some from the original set when I was kitting up my project, though... 
but there's only 50, no, 50 colors. Uh, so yes, it's like 150 bags, but some of them there's, you know, three of them. some of the rest. There are two of them, so it's a little bit easier than trying to kit down 150 different colors, because that, that would be some work, and that would definitely not be able to happen in one video, because that would be a very long video. It would take a very long time to upload, and uh, ain't nobody got time for that, am I right? So, we got 9.32, and I am putting all of these art dots in their own storage baggies in my storage because they are acrylic and the rest of the ones that in here are in the bags are resin more than likely um and it'll just be helpful to try to keep keep track of things so i put a little ad sticker on them which stands for you guessed it art dot okay that one i am gonna say is pretty dang full. So I'm going to move you over and then we're going to move you and let's see. I'm going to move this here for right now so they don't all fall down. There's that. Oops. Might actually need to cut the diamonds open first. 934, 934, 934. Man, we are getting some traffic going by our house today. Holy moly. Lots of loud cars. Okay. 9.34. See, this one does not look as full as those other two. That's why I say approximately a 1,000. Because it even says in the description box, you know, it should be a 1,000. But, you know. Anybody who has gotten a diamond painting and has been short diamonds knows that sometimes when they're, you know, measuring things by weight or volume, sometimes they don't get as accurate as we all want them to be. Some of these have been very dusty. Oof. Oops, that's a... I don't know why I'm trying to save this one diamond. Like, that's going to make or break the entire thing. But here I am. Okay. Oh. Nine. Thirty-four. Put my ruler in there to keep it kind of standing up. Oh, come on, you big poop. Just stay. Nine. Thirty-five. Nine. Thirty-five. Nine. Thirty-five. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you're mm, excuse me, able to work on something fun and not something lame while you're watching this or listening to it. If you're, you know, pretending I'm a podcast, that's cool. last video I got it under an hour like it was almost exactly an hour but that's the first time I've had one of these be under an hour so I'm hoping I can do it again because that would be amazing plus my my, my TV screen that I mirror my phone on is not working properly, even though I did unplug it and replug it in after the last video because it was not working. I thought maybe I solved it, but I did not because it's frozen. My hands are in like a very, very weird position. Oh, I just want to make sure everything's still recording and I'm not just talking to myself. I mean, I do that, but don't like thinking I'm talking to actual people and then be talking to myself. Nine thirty seven, nine thirty seven, nine thirty seven. 
Oopsie. Oh, yep. TV thing went off. Fantastic. I didn't want you on anyways, so it's fine. Whoa. 9, 30, 7. Whoa. Ah, it feels like it's going to spill all over. Come on. One little stray little bugger. Bugger? Bugger? Okay, now I'm into train 14. So we're going to trim... This and cat. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm bumping things. So loud and crinkly. Sorry. Let's see. So, we're going to trim after number 10. And let's try not to actually cut them open so they make a giant mess. So, those will go right there. That's the second part. Number one. Number one, number one. Oh, look. More colors that don't match. Shocking. Shocking, shocky, shocky. Oops. There's that. All right. I am filming this before Christmas, but it will not go up before Christmas. There's no way. Um, but... Do you do, oh, why did I do, why did I do that? See, I'm trying to have conversations. Those are not going to match, but you know what? Just pour them in. That's fine. Don't look. If it bothers you, don't look. Um, brain is not braining right now, guys. It's fine. Uh, since it will be 2024 when this goes out, which is just freaking crazy. Do you do New Year's resolutions or goals? If so, what are your resolutions or your goals? I do not set goals per se because uh, I'm one of those people that the second I like fail, you know, or, you know, what I perceive as failing or if I mess up, then my brain's like, nope, you're done. You're a failure. Give up. Uh, so I don't do goals, but I do try to, you know, maybe instill some better habits. Maybe let's say like, for example, I probably should eat more vegetables. So that might be a habit or a lifestyle change that I might want to try thinking about making or um I definitely know I need to drink more water you know boring old water not not coffee or tea or Diet Dr. Pepper or sparkling water you know water water um, so that's another another thing I'm you know gonna try to be doing more of why are all these oh my gosh seriously so janky Ugh. Uh, let's see. I should exercise, you know, to, to keep my body healthy. Um, you know, losing weight is always a good thing. You know, if you, if you need to, or, you know, you want to make healthy lifestyle changes. Not saying anybody here needs to lose weight. Um, but... I probably could lose a few pounds and then I might, you know, have more energy and, you know, more stamina and to, you know, do the things I need to do, do the things I want to do. So that's another, it's another option up there. Maybe not spend as much money on stuff that I shouldn't be spending money on, you know? Retirement fund ain't going to grow itself. I tried running. <laughs> My husband, he'll make fun of me because he's like, 
He's like, did you order more, you know, diamond paintings or more of this, more of that? And I'm always like, you should see some of the people stashes online, okay? I'm, I'm not that bad. And he's like, yeah, well, that's not you. Which, you know, I get because, uh, you know. <laughs> I almost asked my financial advisor when we were having a call, you know, to check on our yearly goals and all that jazz. I almost asked her, you know, like, you know, is it, is it a good investment to, to buy, you know, like crafting supplies now, you know? So if it, things just keep getting more expensive, like, isn't that, you know, isn't that helping your, your future self? But I didn't because I didn't think she would agree with me. And then, you know, she'd take my husband's side and then, well, says, she didn't think it was a good idea that I tried to convince my mom to buy uh, a purple Corvette that I could drive her around in because she said she always wanted a purple Corvette. Um, I didn't think she, she didn't like the Corvette idea. I didn't think she would like the let me start hoarding craft supplies idea. My husband did bring up a very good point. I hate when that happens. Ugh. I hate when people have good points that aren't the point that I want, you know. And, you know, but technically, can't retire on diamond paintings or craft supplies or, you know, whatever thing it is that I'm, you know, purchasing at the moment. Which, again, it makes sense. It's just not the fun answer because as much as I would love to have, you know, hundreds of diamond paintings and hundreds of different pens and hundreds of different, you know, cover minders and all that, like, I mean, how many can I really do in my lifetime? Like, how many can I use at once? And I, I kind of have the fear, right, of, like, okay, everybody, you know, said, you know, that, like, di like Diamond Art Club, for example, that they're you know, they're, they're new drills, let's say. Their new drills are amazing and they're so much better than the old drills. But, so what if I had a bunch of paintings with like the old drills and I thought they were crap? I mean, cause they're always gonna be making improvements. Every company is going to be making improvements. I mean, most companies don't make changes that are, you know, crappy. Like that's not their goal. They're not gonna, try and go, you know what? We're going to make our kits so crappy and so junky that no one's going to want to buy them and we're going to go out of business. No, they're going to keep trying to innovate and, you know, maybe sourcing better drills or having a better adhesive or this or that. So I'm just kind of terrified. I'm going to buy a bunch of kits and then it's going to be like, oh, these are awful to work on because now the kits are like amazing or whatever. So at least that's what I tell myself to, you know, to try not to miss out on the FOMO, right? Because it's so hard when you, you see people, you know, posting things online and like they, you know, ordered like 20 kits for Black Friday or whatever. And it's just like, holy crap. You know, number one, I'm like, I, I don't know if, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't see, I only saw like three kits on Black Friday from like a few of the sites that I really liked and was like, oh my gosh, I want to have those. And I don't like how some of the companies, like especially Diamond Art Club, like they release something and then it's all of a sudden it's like archived and it's already like, nope, limited, it's limited edition, but it's not limited edition. So they basically have created this huge fear of missing out trend where people basically feel like they have to buy every single diamond painting they see that they might want to do in fear of, you know, missing out. And it just, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like that mentality. I really don't because people, you know, people are struggling financially. Like in diamond paintings are not cheap. You know, it doesn't matter where you're buying them from. They're not cheap. I mean, hobbies are not cheap. Unless, you know, you like to just go walk out in nature and, I don't know, collect sticks or something. But I don't like being outside. So <laughs> that's never going to be a hobby of mine. <laughs> but I just don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it because it creates this fear mentality. 
And, you know, uh, yes, a lot of people are responsible and they can, you know, tell themselves no. Uh, but then there are people who can't or, you know, you're having a bad day and you try to cheer yourself up by buying something. I totally get it. I do it too. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't like it. I feel like there's almost too many products out there now. It's like, it's overwhelming. That's just me. Rant over. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend anybody. If you have like a, a stash of, you know, a thousand diamond paintings, like I'm secretly jealous, obviously, <laughs> because... Uh, if I did that, my husband would probably kill me. So, yeah. I worry. Did, I mean, does anybody worry though that like the glue is gonna go bad? I mean, I know that like these companies say that the glue won't go bad, but if diamond painting has only been around for so many years, how do you know that it's not gonna go bad? Because. <laughs> You haven't had, like, I mean, diamond painting hasn't been a thing for, I think I read something and it said it was created in 2010. So it's only been around for 13, 14 years. That's not long enough to know how long, you know, like a glue's canvas, the canvas glue is going to last. So that scares me. That... That gives me the scarids. All right, let's move Mr. Cup. Okay, can have a little bit more room in here now. 9.55, let's move you closer so I'm not reaching halfway across the table. Seriously. Okay, 9.55, I think there's just two of those. Yep, that's two. I I think these are my favorite strands so far because they are all my favorite colors. They're the pinks and the teals and the minty greens. Oh, ah. yeah, I know it comes with a stopper. I just don't use it because I'm lazy. Plus I would end up trying to pour them without taking the stopper out and then it would just make an even bigger mess. I guarantee it. Okay, 956. 956. 956. Okay. Okay. Oh. That was not smart. Nope, that wasn't smart. Okay, 156. Oop, gotta get my next little clump of bags out. I am so glad that I just sat and put all the stickers on the bags all at once. Because uh, I would have put this off for a very long time if I had to go through and put the stickers on while I'm doing this. Oof. Plus, I feel like that would be super boring for everybody, not just me. 957. 957, 957. Oh my gosh, I felt that on my fingernail. Whoa, don't need to be bleeding on camera. No, no thank you. 957. Okay. Oh, look at that bright pink. That's such a happy color. Okay. 958. We have 958, 958, and 958. Whoa, that was some backwards cutting right there. Do, do, do. 958.
actually surprised my cats aren't coming back on the table after hearing all this plastic. One cat got so mad at me yesterday. Oh my gosh. I was doing an unbagging for a budget company and he hears that, that plastic crinkly outer bag and he just, he follows me around and he'll actually swipe at my hand to try to get the bag from me. And so he always likes to jump on the table to try and get the bag. So I took the bag and I hid it, you know, because I was trying to do it to let him lick it. I mean, it wasn't cruel, but you know, at some point you have to, you know, means no and take it away. Um, so I did the whole video and he's just like sitting there on the table, just pouting just staring at me with this disapproving glare like god I hate you lady so I finished that video and then I was like well I'm gonna do another unboxing while I have everything out right and I don't think he moved at all while I was doing the unboxing he just had his fluffy butt in my way so rude so rude I let him lick the bag so he doesn't problem is if I don't hold on to it he will grab it and he will run and he will hide the plastic bags we have found plastic bags randomly in the house like shoved under things that I mean he's the only he's the only culprit and the other cat, he just likes the, like, he likes to chew the plastic bag. So I can always tell, you know, which, which cat it was based on if it's just, you know, if it's just been licked or if it has gnaw marks. Let's see. Are these? Eh, those are close enough. Close enough. For some reason, I always feel like I have to cut it open with the number pointed up. I don't know why. It's like I have to reassure myself that I am, in fact, cutting the same number. I'm not sure. I mean, is that just me or do other people do that? Because I don't know. I did mention in my other video. So if anybody is watching this and you did not watch the other one or you didn't comment, I need a reminder to look for a cross stitch pattern that is like a quilt pattern or something um, that I can use a lot of different colors in because I think it would be cool to use a lot of the, you know, pretty colors, maybe not the browns and grays and stuff, but it'd be really cool if there was like a gradient some kind of gradient pattern, like a quilt pattern or something that's like a cross stitch pattern that you could turn into a diamond painting because I gotta use some of these diamonds up, guys. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep multiplying and that's a little scary because this is box number four and I only was supposed to have four boxes of spares. So if I'm on box four, and I still have three more videos to go with 150 bags each. I'm going to be going over my four boxes. And uh, so that means I need to use some of them. 960. Oops. Well, you're going in there. 964. Yeah, granted, I don't have that much free time, but you know, so... At least if I kit something up, then it would release some of the diamonds from their, you know, tiny prisons. I love those colors. They're so pretty. Okay, nine, sixty-six. 66, 66, 66. All right, we just had that last strand to go for this one. Awesome sauce, because it is starting to get a little bit dark. Hopefully it does not show that it's getting dark, but 
The sun feels like it's going down, down, down. And, oh, that, eh, that's close enough. It looks a little bit different, but not too bad. Get in there. There's that. Just throw you in there. Whoa, come on. Whoa, that was a little aggressive, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little diamonds. You didn't deserve that. Okay. Can I get this last 967 in there? I bet I can. All right. Um, that's, whoa, this one, a long one, that's a long one, oh my gosh, let's cut it after number 10 to make it a little bit more manageable, shall we? We shall. There's that, there's that, and then those will go over there. All right, 967. Do, do, do. Oops, hopefully. Because I can't see it on my TV. I, can't, I feel like I keep scooting everything down towards my lap. Not. Scooch, 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 scoochy. There's. All right, nine sixty seven. Oh my gosh, but then I can't reach because it's so far away. All right, make sure I'm nine seventy. It's nice. Oh, we got some oranges in here. This is like the fall strand. Oranges and yellows and greens and some blues. A little bit of brown. Nine seventy. Go in there. Get in there. 971. Where are you? Whoa, wait a second. Is there no 971? Nope, that's another one that I have a DMC sticker for that I don't have diamonds for. But at least I don't think I'm losing my mind anymore. So that's good. I got that going for me. Because I first thought, I'm like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Why are there, why are there things for things that don't have diamonds? That makes no sense. But apparently there are some DMC numbers after the, you know, 1 through 35 that don't have diamonds. Who knew? Not me. Not me. I still think we need to, to protest or something to these diamond makers to have them do colors one through 35 because there are some really nice colors in one through 35. And at least every cross stitch pattern that I've looked at always have at least like two of those. So then you gotta find, you know, a substitution, but and if your substitution is already in your pattern, you kind of got to, you know, make sure that it's not going to throw the dynamics out of, out of whack, you know, because if you're, you know, the whole purpose of using lots of colors is to have, you know, nice shading and color graduations and stuff like that. So if you have a substitution, you know, is 
probably is going to mean that it's probably near the other color because if they're that similar that you could substitute one for the other, that means they probably were already close together uh, because they're supposed to blend. Go figure. So they need to start making diamonds in those. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are dirty. Dirty, dirty diamonds. Those are so dusty. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Still a dirty. $9.75. Am I going to get to the... Am I going to get to the... Th oh, I am going to hit the 300 not 300,000. Ooh, that one is, look at that. That's like so dirty. That's like filthy, filthy little diamond. The 3,000s, not 300,000s. Good God. That would be very confusing if you had diamond painting colors that were in the 300,000s. Oh my gosh. Like, it's bad enough they had to go from 900 to 3,000. Like, you couldn't have gone to 1,000 or 2,000. You had to go to 3,000? Really? Wait. Almost forgot the third one. Seems a little silly to me. But what do I know? Nobody asked me. Obviously, there's a reason. I don't know what it is, but there's a reason. Come on, get out of that little tiny crack. Okay, 977. Nine. Yep, got all three of those. Oh, premature spillage. Those are dirty too. Whoa, geez. I'm getting impatient. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell my patience level is going down based on the amount of spills that I am making. There's that. Go in there. Nine eighty six, nine eighty six, and nine eighty nine, um, three thousand. Hang on, nine eighty six. Well, those are those are different. So put this one to the side. Don't open it. Cut this little excess part right there. Put you to the side. 986 and 986. We will just tuck you in the bag since you are a troublemaker. Trying to mix things up. Come on, get out of there. There you go. 986, 986, there's that. Okay. 987. So there's 987. There's 987. Yeah, those are close enough for me. Oh dear. There we go. Whoa. Probably shouldn't tuck the unopened ones into the tray while I'm pouring, you know? Maybe not. Okay, 987. Come on. 987. Nine. 88. Okay, 
988, 988, and 9. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, seriously. All 988s. Okay. You are not going to get opened. Don't open that one. Don't open it. Don't open it. Don't open it. Don't open it. Are we opening it? No. Stick it in there. Come on. Fold. Pivot. Pivot. Get in there. There. Okay. 988, 989, that's 300,000, 989, 989, okay, so there were quite a few blues and greens in the, the pattern that I bought these for, so that is not surprising that there would be lots missing from this strand. Pretty, oh my gosh, love it. Again, beautiful colors. Oh my gosh, I am sitting on my feet and they are <laughs> completely asleep and I moved and the tingle is starting to set in on one of them. It doesn't feel good. Not even a little bit. Ah, you big turd. Er going to be painful. Okay. 992, 993. Again, those are, those are close enough, close enough. Full of plastic trash. I am just grateful that the these don't come in those stupid little two hundred bags because oh, I don't know if I I don't know if I would honestly dekit them or I would just throw them all in a box and if I needed something I would just look for it. Oh, that would be maddening. I don't know if I could do it. It would it would take me a very long time. I do know that. Okay, this is Yeah, it's close enough. Cuz I don't think I'd have the patience to open up what five five little bags for every one of these. No. I would end up cutting myself for sure because I'd be so impatient and annoyed at that point that I would end up cutting myself because I'd be like rushing through trying to open and okay that is gonna need to get oh stay down you big stupid things oh my god oh my gosh don't lift him out so close guys so close 
if I can just fit a few more in that row, I will work on organizing that later. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna have to pull out two more boxes at least to make room for the rest. Nine. Whoa. That's not exactly the same color. So we're going to put you to the side, friend. And it's just different enough. That's not to say I won't mix them in the future, but for now, we'll just keep them separate. Maybe somebody needs diamonds some days and they won't want my old and busted and mixed up ones. Okay, we can just move a few of these down. Push. Okay, I feel no more cards. So I really can't see what I'm doing, so working blind. Okay. Three. A one, three a one. green. Okay. Three oh whoa. Might help if I move that. Three oh one. Three oh one two. Three oh one two. Three oh one oh. I don't know if that's the previous color or this color, but it's just going in with that one. It's fine. 3013 or 30 3012. See, that's the thing. It doesn't roll off the tongue like the three digit numbers. It's... All right. 3012. Oh, that's a little bit different. It's okay. Don't look. Don't look too closely. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's all blended. Nobody will know. Well, there's probably some people that would be able to tell, but they're not here. So we got 3013. Only two of those. And then the last one. Whoop, whoop. All right. There's that. There's that. Oh, 3013. 3013. There's that. 3021. Last color. And it's just a dirty boy. So dirty. Oh. Let's not spill the last color all over. Oh, all over. No. No. First try. Okay. It's a good thing, too, because I don't know if I can fit any more garbage in my cat. He is chock chock a full. Yes, you are, friend. You did good today. I don't even know color it's like a weird gray brown although I can't tell if it's that or if it's just like greenish gray look at that one okay look at that one right there it's like coated so much it looks like it's coated in powdered sugar better not be toxic I should probably wash my hands when I'm done <laughs> yeah all right yay there we go and i'll show you here's his hat his little sombrero doesn't fit doesn't stay on his awkward head and if i put it on top 
then I can't actually put his trash in his trash hole. So I will just have to find a different hat for my cat, obviously. Um, so that is it for today. We are down to three more sets of drills to put away. I'm over halfway there, guys. Living on prayer. So if you have not liked and subscribed and did all the things, please do so. It helps out immensely. And um, yeah, let me know that you want to see more awkward videos of me, you know, putting things away and spilling and talking to myself. Yeah. So I am going to ski diddle daddle, wash off this mystery powder off my hands and uh, empty my, my kitty because he is full. And I will see you guys next time. Big awkward hugs. Bye.